Hey YouTube, welcome back for another English review. <coughs> it is time for some mystery beer. Um, about, I think it was uh, October, November last year, we got invited, uh, we, I mean the Dutch Beer Collective, got invited to uh, visit uh, <coughs> a brewery in Altmar called Bauwei, the Moorsleutel. This beer is from them. Um, why? Because uh, they um, got inspired of our mystery beers and uh, put in their advent calendar uh, from last year. They wanted to do uh, kind of an homage to us uh, and uh, put in uh, some mystery beer in the advent calendar. And uh, so they invited us. We did a tour, uh, did a couple of tastings and uh, ever since then they put uh, in their guild box which is their um, every two month uh, subscription box with all the new beers, beers from Moonsleutel they also put in a um, mystery beer in each box sometimes two, sometimes one um, but this is number five, the mystery beer uh, guild exclusive number five um, and what is it? you can only they have to put on the ABV in the Netherlands, so we aren't gonna guess that because it's 12 percent. So, but what we're gonna do is just trying to find out what it is, and uh, I will tell you at the end of the video. I will look it up on uh, on their website or on tabs. Um, so, Mr. Beer number five, Guild exclusive. Can you guess what style this beer is and what the ingredients are? You can scan the QR code, which is on the can. The label is kind of a big QR code, which is really cool. Um, yeah, let's open it up and see what it's like. Uh, let me know if you had any of their mystery beers from the guild. Uh, love to hear your thoughts. It's falling in glass. So it's not an IPA, that's for sure. Looks like a uh, looks like a stout or a porter. A bit too dark for a barley wine, but could be a black barley wine. Uh, nice brown colored head. I can smell all the fruitiness coming from the glass. Let's go to nose. Oh, that's got blueberries, uh, berries all over the place, and some chocolate in the back. A lot of fruitiness there. Some roast. You can smell that it's 12%. And you can see on the glass that it's a high ABV beer. Uh, by smelling it, I think it's a, a porter with loads of fruit, I think. Let's have a sip. Cheers. It's got that um, almost um, wine-like grape vibe to it. Just a little sour from the tannins. Um, chocolate. Pretty, uh, you can taste it 12%. That's true. Um, Maybe it's barrel aged on a uh, red wine and then a uh, porter uh, put on a red wine barrel. 
you got that that grapey thing uh wine thing going on a little sour from the tannins um some uh chocolate so i'm gonna stick it with that um yeah do i like it yes i like it i love it it's a really nice um really nice beer it's a sipper but i'm really enjoying this so what i'm going to do is gonna just pause the video and i'm gonna look up what it is um so i just uh, i'll be back in a second we're back and i kind of nah i kind of did okay but not really uh it's a uh stout it's a fruited stout with uh, blackberries and cherries um the first uh hint is always the right one i say um so i kind of fucked up the uh, the second thing i said that it was a barrel aged uh a porter on red wine barrels um but it's got that cherry sour thing going for sure um chocolate i guess that right um but it's a stout in instead of a porter so um it's a collaboration uh, between the moore's Lotel and brew york they are from york uh in the uk um if you want to know the score go to my own you can find me there i'm also on instagram and facebook i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this uh really nice beer uh so uh hopefully i see you again uh, with a uh, when i do another english review cheers <laughs> 